We're here at Okorito on the beach. Great place to be in Taipatini Westland. You can't come to the coast without coming to the beach. Mm -hmm. But it's a small area. It will still be affected by an Alpine Fault earthquake. But Carolyn, how do you know what's going to happen when the fault breaks and there's a big earthquake? Good question. So of course scientists don't know exactly when earthquakes will happen and, and what the impacts might be. So we use this thing called a scenario to help us get prepared for future earthquakes. And for the Alpine Fault, the scenario that we developed had the earthquake beginning down in Milford Sound and that's the epi epicentre and then the seismic energy moves out from that point and it makes its way up the west coast and out across the east coast of the South Island. So the scenario for the Alpine Fault is really one that's going to be felt right across the South Island and even up in the North Island as well and there'll be a number of impacts and consequences that happen after that. And we'll see that, that surface rupture as a break in the ground? That's right, yep. The earthquake will cause the fault to break right through to the surface and that's where most of the damage is done. Uh, you can imagine uh, movement across the fault will then um, perhaps break through roads or bridges and things like that. And so particularly for the west coast, that means that some of the communities might be isolated because the bridge might be damaged or the road. The other thing with big earthquakes is that it causes a lot of landsliding up in the mountains. And so we have our southern Alps here and many landslides are going to come down. And some of those might go across roads as well. And so there are a number of different impacts from uh, ground shaking like this. Mm. And you talk about it being um, something that was going to be felt mostly around here, most intensely, mm. but everybody in the South Island would feel it, wouldn't they? Absolutely, yeah. The West Coast will feel it the most because that's where the, the biggest ground motions are going to happen. But yeah, everyone across the South Island will feel it and afterwards we'll all know about the impacts for a long time because there'll be disruption to the way we move around the island, the road network's going to change a little bit and so we might have to take a few detours here and there. And we actually saw that after the Kaikoura earthquake. So when State Highway 1 was closed, people had to do a bit of a a move around to get from uh, from Blenheim down to Christchurch or across to the west coast. So we know that the road network will have to change and adapt to the, the new conditions. Yeah. Mm, so super important that we plan for this event. That's right, yeah. So that's where a lot of the work that the scientists are doing now uh, will help communities understand the risks that they are faced with and knowledge is power. So the more we know, the more we can do to get prepared for these sorts of future earthquakes. Kia ora, and that's why it's so important that you're on this field trip. Thanks, Carolyn. Kia ora.